Did you ever wonder that why does your projector miss out that important specification of Dolby Vision which almost most of the TVs have got to offer? Well, also to those of you who are buying a new projector and who has seen our previous video on HDR, HDR10, Dolby Vision, I am pretty sure you are looking out for projectors with a specification sheet that mentions Dolby Vision presence. And unfortunately, there are no projectors that you will find having Dolby Vision. But don't worry, you are not alone in this. And in today's video, I am going to tell you that how you can still work around this solution of Dolby Vision and also we will talk about that why projectors don't support Dolby Vision. Now as mentioned in our previous video, any good video quality from a video display which can be TV or a projector screen is based upon three crucial factors. The first one is colors. Now more number of colors on the screen means more engaging and a better experience, right? We all agree that more colorful the image is on the screen, you will have a much more better experience while watching a content. The second factor is the brightness. Now brightness typically is calculated in nits for the TV and for the projector it's unsigned lumens. But we are not talking about just the projector's brightness, we are talking about the reflection coming from the screen and this reflection is still calculated in nits. So for brightness, more brighter the image, more better you can understand the small detailing in a picture and that's why brightness plays a very crucial role. The third important factor is the contrast ratio. Now contrast ratio is the ratio between the highest or the brightest white to the darkest black on a screen. Now when they are together, let's say if you are watching a movie like uh, John Wick, okay, with, which has got an intense dark scene. Now that dark scene also has got some light somewhere. Now imagine that light which is there on the screen versus the blacks that are there. Now those two need to be as wide as possible and that difference or that ratio is called as contrast ratio. So more bigger the number, more deeper the image is going to be. Now if this is very very clear to you, let us understand how these HDR and HDR10 all these formats work. Well, they all work by optimizing these three important factors that is colors, brightness and contrast. So why don't projectors come with Dolby Vision? And you know what, the answer to this question actually lies in these three factors that we just spoke of. Now the first important reason why projectors don't have Dolby Vision is because they have lack of brightness. For instance, a Dolby Vision standard requires more than 1000 nits of brightness on the screen. Whereas a projector with the screen as the reflection still manages only around 200 to 300 nits. And due to this, the Dolby Vision can really not work with a projector screen. There are some ultra short throw projectors which comes with Dolby Vision support and they work because they work with the PET Crystal ALR screens which traditionally our long throw projectors does not work with. They work with regular fabrics and these fabrics cannot emit a light which is as close to a TV display. And for that reason, Dolby Vision is not available in project. The second and the most important reason is also that Dolby is a private company which license their software. So just the way Dolby Atmos is licensed to the AV receivers, Dolby Vision is a video format that is licensed to the video manufacturers. And Dolby Vision licenses don't come in cheap. You have got projectors which really have to spend a lot to get that license and that's why most of the projectors prefer to work with HDR, HDR10, HDR10 plus formats which are available for free and they are open source. So they don't have to pay any license and yet they can come closer in giving you the same experience like Dolby Vision. So this is the second reason why Dolby Vision is not available in projectors simply cause of the license fee of Dolby Vision. And the third and the final reason for your projectors not having Dolby Vision is extremely simple. The answer lies between the reflective and a direct light surface. Now when what I mean by direct and reflective light? Well, a TV is a direct source of light. Because when you turn on the TV and you sit in front of it, the light is right in front of you. But when you turn on a projector and what you see on the screen is a reflective light. Now reflective light does not have the same control of contrast and brightness which a direct TV or a direct light TV can always provide. For that very reason, the dynamic tone mapping of HDR10 plus or Dolby Vision formats cannot really work to the best level with a projector screen. And that is why Dolby Vision in projectors is really not available. 
Now I know most of you have got sad faces thinking that should I really buy a projector or can I just settle in for a TV screen in spite of it being in a theater room? Well, hold on. Also to those of you who have got projectors and are thinking whether did I make a wrong choice of going for a projector over a TV? Again, hold on. The video is still not over. I am going to give you three ways to still work around and achieve a nice Dolby Vision like experience. The first way is to use HDR10 and HDR10 Plus formats. Now this can work out for people who are buying new projectors. If you are buying new projectors, make sure that it at least has HDR10 or HDR10 Plus. HDR10 supports static metadata which means that the color, contrast and brightness settings will stay common throughout the movie. HDR10 Plus whereas will offer a dynamic metadata which means that every frame in the movie is going to adapt its own color, brightness and contrast setting. This way you are getting an equivalent image experience of what Dolby Vision has to deliver. So stick in with this first choice. The second way to work around with your projector to still compensate for the loss of Dolby Vision is to use the dynamic tone mapping feature. Now this is extremely crucial because when you are buying a new projector, especially the high-end ones like JVC's, Sony's, Epson's or even the BenQ's and Optima's, they have a feature called dynamic tone mapping. So make sure to check that while buying a new projector and if you already own any of these projectors, go into the settings of it and go and select the dynamic tone mapping. Now what does dynamic tone mapping do? It tries to mimic the effects of a Dolby Vision experience by optimizing the HDR settings. Now this is the best way to have an HDR content deliver a Dolby Vision like experience. So that way you are still not having losses of Dolby Vision. And the third way to work around this Dolby Vision loss is to go for a Blu-ray player like a Panasonic UB820 which offers a converter inside its processor which converts a Dolby Vision content to a best standard HDR10 plus content. This way the experience of the colors, the contrast and the brightness settings of that content does not get spoiled and they still come out fresh on the screen using this Blu-ray player. So try to use more and more better content sources like media player, Blu-ray players or OTT streamers which can help you achieve the brightness, contrast and the color standards of Dolby Vision. At the end of the day, while Dolby Vision is great deal for TV, it is definitely not a deal breaker for projector. Technologies like HDR10+, dynamic tone mapping and a better screen calibration can still deliver a perfect incredible viewing experience for you in your home cinema room. Now if you agree with me and if you have done your own research about Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus as well with your projectors, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Because I Tanmay Mehta, your home theatre consultant or home theatre wale bhaiya will be seeing you again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.